Welcome back everyone to another Terra Fancy video. We have the new Water Bomb event and with this you can claim 5 Red Nucleus, 1 Special Voucher and a bunch of other cool rewards. In fact they're all quite, actually quite nice. But how does this game actually work? Well as you can see over here you've got this playable arena and you'll get a Water Bomb on your head. The game aim of the game is to make sure you don't have that Water Bubble on your head and make sure it doesn't explode on you. Last one standing wins pretty simple and each character you get has a special skill now from here we can actually see that each character is grouped up into two and there's a bunch of characters that you can actually go with but if you go with the Mia, Lucky Mia and Panda Mia they can double jump if we go with uh, Explorer Mia and the actual Cutie Mia they have directional interface which basically means that you can mess up people's controls so if they push left it will go right you have Paddy and Tasha which can go invisible for 5 seconds, really cool for getting out of tricky situations. You have Chengxi here with a super shiny. Where do we go if we can't even see the path? Nearby Wanderer's screens are extremely bright. Naki also has the same skill. Next we have Mellow here and Hannah who have Freeze Bomb which basically freezes you. Pretty cool. We have Jeremy and Leah who gains a 20% speed boost. Really cool in getting away. We have Jay and Annie who share the same energy shield which basically acts like the uh, Full Guys event where it basically puts a force field around you and enemies bounce off you. And of course we have Tata who provides confinement. That is essentially all the characters. They are very simple. It is up to 750 points per run if you come first. Now if we go into the store, you can see that you've got three red nucleus here. You've got another two down here. So that makes you five and that makes your special voucher. We have a profile picture here, which is okay. We've got the fortress micro reactor, a complete one. We've got resource materials, which are nice. Don't get these until, you know, you've collected everything else. You've got some gold, which is meh. Energy dust, which is cool. The blue and purple weapon augmentation boxes, which are nice. You've got the profile kind of housing. And of course, you've got the all important mirror. And of course, they're still giving you pelican shards, which is really nice. I wish they did this for the other battle pass stuff as well, but they're not. And of course, you've got your joint supply chips, which you should never be running out of. Essentially, that is the event. Uh, you can get a thousand per day. As usual, you have two weeks to do this event. There is a second version of this event still to come. Obviously, this is the water bomb impact. We still have the springtime chase, which will also open up. You can earn anywhere between 100 and 700 saunter tokens based on rank. And as you can see here, if you win, you get 700. If you get first eliminated, you get 100. So it can take up to 10 runs if you are completely and utterly unlucky. As you can see, I've done two runs. The first one I kind of deliberately got out so I could make this footage. But I hope you found this useful. It is a pretty decent event. It can be a little long-winded, but overall, quite fun. And hopefully it doesn't get as boring as the other events. I kind of wish they gave you a thousand points if you came first. Or I guess 700 points isn't too bad because it doesn't last too long. Maybe up to five minutes. But overall, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's have that discussion. And I hope I'll see you in the stream tomorrow where we will be discussing many a topic including power creep. So, until then, remain a legend.